Hello everybody and welcome back to the Daisy Regrowth Project. Um, keep all of your work coming in, it's absolutely fabulous. Um, and I was thinking that we must have some butterflies living in our um, new woodland. Uh, because actually butterflies are a really good sign of a thriving ecosystem. That means um, that a, a place that has all things growing in it, like trees and plants and birds and uh, uh, bees and insects, all those things that live together in one place, kind of support each other in one way or another um, and make a very sort of healthy environment for each other. Um, so. Uh, we do need some butterflies in our woodland. And I was thinking, what must it be like to be a butterfly? Um, I can tell you a few things that I found out. Uh, for a start, you would taste everything through your feet. Uh, and not through your tongue like we do, but through your feet, because all of their taste buds are actually on their feet. Um, and another thing is that they can't eat solid food. They can only drink liquids because their mouth doesn't allow them to chew things. In fact, they drink everything through something like a, a, a drinking straw. It's called a proboscis. Um, and it's like a drinking straw. It's a tube that they keep curled up under their chin. And then when they land somewhere and want to drink something, it unfurls and they sip up the nectar or whatever it is that they're drinking through this thing that's like a drinking straw. And you know what, it's a, a, a cold day today, I've got a jumper on. Um, and uh, if you were a butterfly, you wouldn't be able to fly today because butterflies can only fly when it's warm enough. Um, and, uh, you know, they wouldn't be able to get out of the way of something that was going to eat them or they wouldn't be able to go and find some food if it was a bit colder than normal. And I think that's why we kind of think about butterflies when it's a beautiful sunny day because, you know, that's when they, they are able to fly about when it's warm enough. Um, I can tell you something that must be really wonderful to be a butterfly and that is that they can see more colours than we can see. Uh, they can see a whole range of ultraviolet colours um, and that's a range of colours that the human eye isn't able to see. So butterflies see the world full of many more colours and more vivid colours than we do. I thought it would be really nice to flutter about in our new woodland. Our hands are a little bit like wings if we spread them out and we're going to use our hands to make the butterflies um, and we're going to use them as templates uh, and uh, which made me think about uh, our cleaning our hands and how important it has become to really clean our hands during the coronavirus and beyond that as well I think it's always going to be important to wash our hands from now on we're going to think about it an awful lot more because it actually is the easiest way of protecting yourself uh, against illness and protecting other people as well because we spread germs through our hands. So they say, don't they, that we have to wash our hands with soap um, and for a long time, for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday twice over, which is a long time. And I can't actually wash my hands now without that tune going through my head. So let's go and make our clean hands uh, butterflies. Okay, so you need a piece of paper, an A4 piece of paper, and if you could fold it in half, 
um, sideways. So about you've got a crease down the middle. And then I want you to place the paper, folded paper on the surface, and your arm should be on, or the end of your hand should be on the fold. So your arm is on the fold. And then draw around your fingers with a pencil. I'm using a fine liner so you can see it. But you can use a pencil. Spread your fingers out really wide, okay, because this is the wing of um, our butterfly. And because it's folded in half, we're going to get two wings. So now, being careful not to cut the fold, you know, cut around all of the fingers carefully with your scissors. If you need help, um, uh, ask uh, your carer or your mum to give you a hand. Give you a hand with your hand. <laughs> There we go. So um, I am cutting around all of the fingers very carefully so that I don't hurt myself. And then I shall have the wings of my butterfly. And there it is. Let's open it up. Yes, you can just about see it there. The wings of my butterfly. So, put that down and just flatten it out a little bit so that we can do some drawing on it. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use, again, I'm going to use a fine liner because I want you to be able to see it on the film. Um, but just drawing it with pencil will be fine. Uh, you can always go around your pencil drawing later with the black line if you wanted. So I've made a kind of really oblongy um, shape, sausage shape, uh, for my butterfly. But you can make your body of your butterfly um, different if you want. I've got mine looking like a, a caterpillar. Um, and as you can see, I've uh, made some lines following the shape of the roundness of his body. So they're like little smiley lines to make it look round. And I've given the butterfly a smile, which is rather nice. Now what you'll need is some round shapes if you're going to do it like me. Um, uh, I'm going to put some bubbles on my um, clean hands butterfly, uh, soap bubbles. So I need some round shapes to um, draw around. But don't forget, you can do any design you like on your clean hands butterfly. Um, it can be uh, uh, the words of happy birthday on it. Or, uh, you know, it can have lots of water on it. I'm doing soap bubbles. You could do all kinds of soap bubbles. Um, Anything that kind of really reminds you of washing your hands. The bubbles make a really nice design because uh, we all love to see bubbles and we know instantly uh, what bubbles are. Soapy bubbles, love that idea. And also bubbles float in the air, don't they? Just the same as butterflies sort of flying. They're very light, just like butterflies. Notice that um, I've put it on a piece of newspaper so that I don't get the pen on my, at the top of my work surface. Um, and the shapes, I'm letting the bubbles go outside of the hands. It's not just all inside the hands. It looks like some of the bubbles are going to float off outside of the butterfly wings. It makes it look a little bit uh, 
kind of um, light and bubbly and just like you know the bubbles are going to float off and I've put small and I've put medium ones and I've put big ones and sometimes the big ones go across two fingers of the butterfly wing. Think that's enough? I'm not sure. Let's draw some little ones in as well. I'm just gonna do, I just want some tiny ones, so I'm just gonna do this by hand. Just little circles. And sometimes there's a little light in the bubble that's like a little circle, isn't it? Oh, it's really taking shape now. Lots and lots of bubbles for my clean hands butterfly. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to speed up the film now for the colouring in. Um, I'm using crayons. Uh, I didn't want it to look too heavy, uh, the Clean Hands Butterfly, so um, I'm doing it in crayon. Um, and I'm doing, it's entirely up to you how you colour in your, your butterfly, but um, I'm going to use mostly blue um, to kind of show that it's water. Okay, so I'm going around... Uh, the caterpillar part of the butterfly um, and I'm going around the bubbles as well. Um, I'm using it on a piece of newspaper again just so that I don't get any crayon on the surface um, because it because it's a cut out it's quite easy to you know come out of the lines because you want your um you want it to be colored in properly so and you might have to hold it you know when you're working on a finger like i'm doing now you need to perhaps hold it steady did you see it flutter about a little bit so you might have to hold the end of it steady while you color it in you don't want to crease it up Oh, it's looking like water and bubbles, isn't it? Just filling in any little gaps. Lovely. Turn it around. Let's do the other side. I might speed it up a little bit more at this stage. Don't forget, I'm not crayoning in very fast. It's just the film that I've I've made go very fast. So it's like I'm doing it super quick, but I'm not. Okay, well, that looks really nice, just with white bubbles. Okay, so next, we're gonna, oh, I'll give him some red cheeks and I'm just doing my bubbles very faintly I don't want to color them in too deeply I want them to look uh, really kind of made of water and, and uh, you know really light and airy because bubbles are full of air aren't they so and sometimes they just catch the light and look like they're all different colors Using a very light touch with my crayons, giving my caterpillar a green body. And there we go. That's really nice. And now for his antennae. If you've got a couple of little cotton buds, you know, Q-tip cotton buds, then turn it over and uh, with a bit of sellotape, just um, stick that to the back of his head. 
um, so that they're just uh, poking out above the butterfly wings. Um, just too much cello tape there. Let me just cut that bit off. There we are. I'm taking a fine liner and I'm just making uh, my Q-tips a little bit blacker. Um, but you don't have to do that because that actually I think that they probably show up more as white ones. It's up to you. Or you could even make them green or yellow or something. It's up to you. Um, but I fill them mine in. If you haven't got Q-tips, you can use uh, two pieces of paper to stick on the back um, and colour it whatever colour you want. So uh, there's my butterfly, my clean hands butterfly, and um, he is going to fly into the woodlands and hopefully meet all of your clean hands butterflies. Okay, so send that as usual to uh, this email address, photographing it overhead um, and so that it's all in the picture. And um, thank you very much for joining me again this week. I really look forward to seeing the butterflies and, um, and using them for our woodlands. Uh, see you next time. Bye.